can be a very important test, especially with an autoimmune condition, what the diagnosis is. This is where we can dig into. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I'm naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach and Kygenesis, and I'm joined again today by the amazing Jessiana Seville, who is the founder and primary practitioner at Kidney Nutritional Institute. I'm going to hand it straight across to you to let's get into it. Let's talk all things diagnostic tests when it comes to chronic kidney disease. So let's talk about getting a diagnosis of kidney disease in the current medical environment. What does that look like? Now, there's two, uh, there's actually, what did I say, six areas that a diagnosis can come from. One is the urine, one is the serum, another is the genetics, Another is the biopsy. And I feel like I'm missing one more in there. Nope, that's it. Those are the main ones. I guess there's four. Um, All of these can play in in different ways to a diagnosis. Other important testing is a biopsy. Mm. Uh, A biopsy can be a very important test, especially with an autoimmune condition. Because sometimes they don't, and a biopsy is just, they're going to take a tissue sample so that, and then they put the tissue sample under a microscope, and then they can really figure out what the diagnosis is. Um, if you have an autoimmune disease like IG nephropathy, it's going to be really like the doctor's going to have a hard time making a definitive diagnosis that you definitely have IG nephropathy without a biopsy. And so that is commonly done. I think it's very helpful because sometimes people will be, uh, I've seen kind of these non-definitive where they'll say, well, it kind of looks like IG nephropathy, but it's not quite because it has this characteristics. And then we start getting into this, it's idiopathic. And for us as clinicians, especially coming from a functional standpoint, we think, okay, this is where we can dig into the immune system and the gut. And there's probably, there's something autoimmune going on and we have a pathway that we can work with that. So I um, I really love reading the biopsies and looking at them. Um, the only thing is if you catch your kidney disease late in the game and uh, your kidney function is quite declined, then a lot of times um, the biopsy can be risky. And so they won't do it. So yeah. if your GFR is really low, like 15, they say, I think this is probably going to impact your kidney function. So we're not going to be doing the biopsy. We'll just make our best guess. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's what happens very, very commonly. If you want to know more about what we do, head to kidneycoach.com and we're on all your social media platforms, whatever the social media platform is, forward slash kidney coach, you'll generally find us. Make sure you hit subscribe and like. So this helps our little YouTube algorithms and that means you'll get notified anytime we put up new videos. Jess, thanks again. I really appreciate you and we'll talk to you all next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.